Alright, hello. Since uh, I've pretty much learned this category now and uh, there's a lot of people who want to do it uh, coming up for the relay, I decided I was actually going to do a full tutorial of the category. So let's get started, get into it. So um, just as with my innocent tutorial, I think it's just good to mention uh, you move faster as Dactor if you jump. Single jumps, not double jumps. So you want to do that as much as you can. And the other thing that speeds up Daxter is looking at an angle. So like a bit diagonally. Not that much horizontally, that speeds up very little. But you don't really want to move like this, like you might normally think. You want to try to speed up by looking at an angle. You can do it the other angle as well. So yeah, as much as you can, try and implement that to move faster. And uh, now we're gonna go. So we have our first cutscene here that you're gonna skip by pressing A. Or whatever button that is for you. And uh, here we have the first skip. So this is not as time-saving as an N percent. In any percent, you end up skipping the entire hotel level doing this. Uh, and really, uh, CS1 as well. But it does allow you to do a faster strat in CS1. So, if you can't learn it, I would still recommend it. You want to double jump is my easiest setup. And the idea is that you're supposed to ledge grab close enough to a wall that the uh, Daxter clips out of bounds. So this one isn't close enough because the hands are a little bit too far out. Or no? <laughs> Never mind. Well, I, I remember the hand position very well, apparently. Um, that was dumb. <laughs> Anyways, I did clip out of bounds now. You can uh, realign the camera like that with uh, D-pad up and then uh, move around and then D-pad down. Uh, if you want to, uh, because it does give you more sight. So you can single jump this. That's what I usually do in attempts. But uh, if you're uncomfortable with that, you can double jump, spin attack. And even if you get a bad jump like I just did there, you should be able to make it. And you want to walk alongside these planks here. And then double jump from the edge here. And you should get in. If you're not planning on doing this skip, you can just, uh, once I'm done with this section, follow the way I do level 1 and 2. And uh, it will be mostly the same. But from here I'm just going to do this level, which is level 3. We have a new route for these flowers, so I'm going to show it off. I'm going to do that. And if you hold the right early here and then jump off, you can actually land immediately here and turn mid-air to end up like that and going, which is pretty sick. You want to go over here and go up. Grab this uh, bit of eco. So, I don't hold when I press these, I press individually for each flower to conserve some eco. So I don't need to go over as many eco fountains. It's not as punishing with this route as previous routes, but it's pretty, still pretty good to know. And uh, when you see me bump there like that, that's the hop that you do with your... It should be your left bumper, I think. It is for me anyway. And uh, you're just gonna get that one right there. Turn around and boom. Like that. And here. Uh, this rock for doing that. I didn't take the turn very well, but that's the order that you're supposed to take them out. And here, I'm just gonna set a save state. Uh, so. With uh, this boss, it can take a long time if you don't have uh, a quick method of uh, killing it. 
you get it down. So I think I'm gonna just show off the movement on the first one without actually doing the damage. And then afterwards I will show how it will actually look. Because I think that will be more helpful. So you're gonna turn to the left here, drive up on this hill, and then you're going to jump off, you're going to turn around, you're going to drive, and that's going to be enough. So um, you can, I did wait longer than I normally would. I would normally make it turn quicker, but, but um, I forgot that <laughs> when I was, I was thinking, oh, I was, I'm going to take it slower as if that's going to make it fail. It's not. It's going to make it easier, actually. So there you go. That's how you do the first section. It's uh, definitely the hardest uh, part of this quick kill. So just make sure you learn it. The way I would time it in runs is I would turn the moment I fall down, I would drive, and then I would go like that. So that was a bit tighter. The queen was a bit higher up uh, than it was last time. And then here I would drive up here and uh, hit it on the way. And then I would jump. Jump like that, and that's the third hit. So that's the quick kill for this uh, queen. Even if you don't manage to get the jumps at the end, like I didn't in this one, you can still make it. It's just a little bit faster to get up those hills if you time the jump well. And then, um, once it's gonna explode and then it's gonna say mission complete very soon so uh here that's when you want to pause you want to save so you want to x left x circle you want to go down and then here you can just spam a to uh, load want to back up and skip this cutscene and now we're going into the next level this is another Inipsan. So you'll probably be familiar with it. It's an auto scroller. So it's not going to be anything crazy. Just remember not to forget uh, to actually start the level by pressing X here. As soon as you can. There is a bit of RNG in it, so you're gonna have variance, even though it's such an easy level. Yeah, just keep going at it, nothing special. And then here, what you want to do, if you can, without dying, is just uh, start spamming a button here to try and end it early. That's why I try to keep as much HP as I can at the level. I know Kung Fu. And as such, now we can finally do some stuff again. So you're gonna trigger this cutscene because that opens the brewery. That's very important. And then you're also going to trigger this cutscene. You can't see him now since we did the levels out of order. But this is the cutscene that you get at the beginning to do the first mission, which is important. Since we did these threats, you're gonna have the scooter here. Uh, a lot of times you're gonna have his dialogue trigger here as well. So you get it twice, but I didn't get it there. You wouldn't drive over to the brewery. You can actually go off the scooter a bit early like I did there. And the, this cutscene right there, that is an important cutscene because it gives you the ability to hover with your spray. We don't have any spray yet, we don't have any bug spray, we don't have the flamethrower, we don't have anything like that. So for now, this is actually useless. But this is going to be useful that we went here uh, when we get to um, construction site. So you want to make sure you grab it. And then, 
We're gonna drive back, and now we're gonna do the first mission, the hotel. You're gonna drive over this precursor orb. You're gonna get that health pack. And then you're gonna get this orb. And if you um, threw the scooter like I did, you can just jump onto it and then drive over, which is pretty sweet. Try to jump early so you get a little bit extra distance, or delay your jump rather, so you get a little extra distance there while you're not supposed to be able to move. And you press your uh, camera buttons and then uh, the zoom in, zoom out. You don't need to wait like I did, but yeah, you do that, and then you hit this cutscene. Skip it. You can start the mission. I wanna grab this elevator key. Now bring me back a nice stack of those gold bug gems and go over to the elevator. And this is the first level where we have uh, uh, the bring 25 gems back to the concierge. There's a lot of levels like this where you need to get a certain amount of gems, as you probably know from having played the game, I bet. Uh, so we have a specific route for all these levels for exactly which gems we're gonna get. So uh, you can just follow the route, that's how I'm gonna show it. So we're gonna jump over here, take a bit of a shortcut. Jump over these ones. Take another shortcut here by jumping over here. That way we can uh, jump and spin to get up here rather than having to climb up. And we're gonna smack these ones right here. As mentioned earlier, try to look at an angle and side a uh, single jump as much as possible. Grab those, skip this one, it's only a single one, it's not really worth it. And then here I attack this one, but I open up the camera right there so it looks at this one. This one is not going to be aggroed towards you if you don't look at it. So I attack this one while looking at the other to be able to get both of them quickly. And then you want to jump up here, you want to jump around a little bit. And as such here, we're at a pretty difficult jump. I'm gonna save state. And uh, you can decide to go for it if you want. So you jump up on this rock and then you... Um, um, try to get uh, a boost to your jump from jumping late off the rock. But that wasn't late enough, so I didn't get the boost. Whereas there I got the boost, which is enough to ledge grab. You're probably never gonna get further than the ledge grab, for being realistic. Because it's pretty tight, so you want to make sure you get the boost on the jump, to delay your single jump and you spin, so you can the maximum distance there. If uh, you're not comfortable with that, you can just... Uh, Jump over here, maybe jump over those flowers. I haven't gone here in a bit, so I forgot about them. Um, and jump up here. It's not a crazy time loss, but it does save a bit of time if you can get that boost and get over. There, I actually almost made it ledge crabless, <laughs> but it's not really super realistic. Once you're done there, you're not going to get any gems in that room. You're just going to keep going. And uh, here, you can get a little bit of boost going up these stairs if you look at the correct and you walk the correct angle there. And then this might sound silly, but these gems, even though they're very close, we're going to skip them. That's how optimized this route is. We don't even really need those. And you can jump like that. That's a thing in this game where um, if you jump close to a place where you're supposed to crawl, uh, you can actually, you can kind of see it even. Uh, Dexter ducks a bit when uh, he lands in that little bit of duck that you get. You can actually get through a crawl vent with it so you can walk through crawl vents. And you're going to try to do it again if you can. Uh, 
Because I'm waiting, I'm getting all these ticks. Normally you can just jump past them, it's no big deal normally, but... You want to jump up here? Jump if you can on the bed when the bed launches you tends to make it a bit more consistent to land correctly in front of this one to walk in the crawl vent it doesn't actually save that much time to walk in this crawl vent especially since uh, as you can see uh daxter is uh, a bit too tall for this crawl vent so he's gonna hit, hit uh, some collision on the way when he's walking so it does but it does save time still in this crawl vent. And then if you want to exit a crawl vent without crawling, you want to jump like that to get out. It doesn't work on all of them, but it works on this one. And here... Uh, here's a cool little mechanic that can save very little time here, but will save more time later on. So I, I guess I can explain it quickly here. So if you jump on the edge you can uh, get a bit of boost there uh, where you uh, not really a boost but you can jump later than normal and you can jump straight onto the table it's not really matter that much on this one you can just do that instead it's no big difference but basically kind of the way it works is like if you land from a high height that apparently wasn't high enough um, I'll show it later, but there's a bit of a delay before you can jump, and that's kind of what you're doing here by jumping on the edge. So you have to wait a bit before the jump. Uh, I think Nokidoki times the jump there. I personally spam and then time me not spamming anymore because that's what make it's more comfortable to me. But however you want to do those, it's whatever. As long as you get them, you know. And then here, the way I do this section, it's I jump, I spin, and I jump double, uh, double jump spin. And I can get past it without taking damage, but I take at most one damage, which is good. You want to defeat these ones, get those three. With these, you want to try to kill them before they fully crawl out, because then they only take one hit to kill, which is really useful. I didn't there, but like that. And you're gonna have 13 at the end of this one, and you're gonna have nine at the end of this one. So once you have nine jumps here, you can move on. And once you have 13 jumps here, you can move on. And then uh, from here, I'm gonna jump, spin. I'm gonna delay a bit, jump, spin, double jump, spin. And again, just like last one, you might take one bit of damage, but you normally won't. And just like the last room, you can kill the bugs early here, which is pretty cool. And at 19 gems, you can move on. Because uh, they don't spawn infinitely, so you want to remember those gem counts so you know when to move on. And then 25 gems here, and that's the last one. So at this point, we just need to exit the level as soon as possible, because we've done the mission where... We've unlocked the construction site, which is what we wanted. So we're gonna jump up here, and if you can, you can do the flip into the event again. This one's a bit harder. You don't really need it. And this one, this is an example where you can't clip back out because of how hard the event clip is, so you're gonna have to crawl out. So this particular one doesn't save a lot at all. So, no big deal if you miss it. And here, uh, I'm gonna see if I can hit this. It's nice to go for, even if you're not good at it. Just in case you get it, you know? I've only gotten it twice. Where you get a boost off of this uh, snow bit. That's enough to um, make you land on the uh, slide when you lose um you lose movement there for a few seconds so landing on the slide then daxter will slide down even though you don't have uh, any control like that there we go you start sliding a bit early which saves a little bit of time 
I go for it every time, even though it's hard. Just get the boost there and uh, double jump. Let's see if you can get it. I was about to give up on it, but I'm glad I was able to show it off. At this point, it's literally just exiting the level as normal. Nothing special. So, you're really just going to remember to hit this cutscene to be able to exit the level and have mission complete. There we go, we're gonna exit, and uh, now it's time for the construction site. So we're gonna grab our scooter again, which we got from doing uh, Breezy Valley early. And uh, we're gonna go up here. And here, uh, you wanna hold the camera like in behind you as you're going here, like this, going straight here, and you should get the door to open immediately. Sometimes uh, if you don't do that, it will take a long time to open. So try to hold the camera behind you there and keep jumping like that. And it should open as you come there. Then we're going to go over here. You can jump off like that. And then there's a couple of ways to do a little bit of a mini skip here. Uh, so one way I do it is jump early, spin attack to try and get up here. Or once you are down here, you can do it like that. Alternatively, you can try to do it here, where you jump, jump, spin attack to get up. Either way, you want to get up on the side here, move along. You can just regular jump there, but. Jump jump spin and attack is easier. Wanna get over here. And here we have another bit of a skip. Saves a bit more time, so even though it's harder, I'd recommend uh, trying it out a bit at least. So you wanna jump jump spin attack. And uh, the normal situation is you ledge grab. You can actually do this ledge grab list if you're good enough. Like that. So we're gonna jump onto here, we're gonna jump off. And then here we have another example of a vent clip. I like to turn a bit to the side, as you saw there, because otherwise it's easy to hit the top of the vent. Because uh, you need to get your feet onto the vent. It's not enough to have them on uh, the planks because there's a bit of distance between there. So getting Dexter's head away from the vent a bit there, and then landing on the bottom of the vent like that makes it work for me better. And then here is where, because uh, we did Breezy Barely early, we can do a different strat. So if uh, you don't do the CS1 skip, you just do a uh, regular movement doing the mission really there's not much special since you don't have the ability to have her i wouldn't worry about it too much uh, i would instead focus on trying to learn the box skip and cs1 skip that saves so much more than trying to get the time saves that exist otherwise so here you want to move up to these uh, barrels here in between them when i press x and x twice very quickly and then delay your spin attack a bit. And you should get up. You do X and X very quickly to get like the maximum height. And then uh, delay spin attack a little bit seems to help from my experience. Then you can just jump over there to save a little bit of time. And uh, as you saw, I was starting to turn the camera a bit early, because here it will always turn your camera. 
So it just makes the camera turn a bit less dramatic, which can help with movement. So I recommend as you're jumping over here to start turning your camera a bit. And you're going to be walking along here. And uh, as you can see, it's easy to do, walk off, but I like to look at these boxes. And once I've walked past them, I like to jump, jump, spin attack. And uh, here we're going to do an interesting strat uh, where you are going to crawl right as you walk up the ledge. It's going to look like that. You're going to be crawling on this trampoline if it worked. And then uh, from here, you're going to spam X to get uh, a lot of height. And then you're going to start hovering as soon as possible. Uh, I'm going to have the try to keep the camera at an angle, uh, partially because uh, it makes uh, Dexter move faster, as I mentioned. Partially because at the end you actually want to hold the camera at that angle uh, in order to make sure you can see the level and uh, make sure you land there. So. Just uh, try to hold the camera at the same angle that I do. And uh, move a bit upright. Try to align it here. So I knew like where the steel beam is to make sure I don't hit it on the way. But it might take a bit of experimentation for you. Since I'm moving the camera a lot, it's not a lot of movement uh, upright, really. But overall, you're moving upright from where you started. And it's best when you get that... Uh, get those pillar spawned so you can see where you are. Because those... Uh, that allows you to know, like, roughly where you are. As we have a lot of out-of-bounds movement, it's good to practice a bit to make sure you know where you end up, and when, and how. But this amount of spray that I have, it should be just enough to do the skip after this level. So don't try to waste any uh, spray. If you... Um, don't have enough or uh, you need to use some in order to do this part fast uh, you can actually grab some or it's not worth it to do this part fast with the spray but if uh, if you don't have enough later then you can pick some up i'll show you but for this room in particular uh, there is a bit of a tough strat here that you can do where you uh, I made it look easy there, but you try to jump as high as possible here and get a bit of a boost to uh, jump over to the zip line. It's a lot easier if you can uh, use the hover, but it's not worth it. It loses so much time to uh, grab extra eco. Uh, to do the next skip so if you're going to learn this jump you should learn it without using your hover alternatively you can just do it the regular way you jump up here you take a sub line you go all the way around go all the way here and then it jumps over to this one like that Either way you did it, doesn't matter. We'll uh, move over here. I'm going to set a save state like this. And now we've completed construction site one. So this is the place where you might want to save uh, to do this strat a couple of times. So I'm just going to show you something about saving in this game. So I'm just going to waste all of my eco. Get rid of all of it. There we go. I've got none left.
And then I'm gonna save. I'm gonna load that save. And I'm gonna end up here with the same amount of eco that I went in here with. So the way it works in this game is that wherever you hit a checkpoint, uh, however much uh, eco you had at that point, you're going to have. So one thing to know about this skip is you can actually accidentally hit the uh, CS1 checkpoint a second time, which would um, change the amount of eco that you have when you s save here. Uh, but for the sake of showing, in case you need some eco, you can hover over here, get some eco. Ideally, you want to get up. Timing it perfectly like that. Because you can't just save and load here to keep the eco. So even if you have enough eco here, you kind of need to wait. Until you get the eco here. Get that eco. And now we've got a lot of... Uh, so you can just walk into CS1, walk back out, and save. And now you'll have a lot more eco from your say. Worst case, if you don't have enough eco to hover, you have your uh, scooter right below here that you can drive over. So you drive over here and get this one. And there's either a skip you can do with the scooter, or uh, just do the hover over like I showed. If you didn't do Breezy Valley yet, because you didn't do the box skip, this is when you would do it. It loses a lot of time, but you can go over here. And uh, when you walk in here, it's gonna send you into Breezy Valley with this cutscene. You go in and now you do Breezy Valley driving in there. It's gonna be Breezy Valley 2 because I've already done Breezy Valley, so I'm not gonna show it again. But that's what you would do. And from here, we're going to do the CS2 skip, construction site 2 skip. And uh, it's the biggest skip that we're going to be doing. So you're gonna want to learn this one. And uh, we're gonna use a new clipping method on this one. So in this one, we're gonna use the crawl. And when you crawl and then you turn the opposite way of what you're facing, you will move a little bit. Uh, and uh, that's what we're going to use for this clip method. So at start here, you can line up the camera here if you want to be able to see better. You want a ledge grab here, you can walk down a ledge grab but not too close to the wall here. So, um, because if you do, you get proxied out. You wanna just uh, jump off and hover as soon as possible. And uh, if you do it right, it's not gonna end up like I showed there where you ledge grab. You should be able to hover up close here and get up. Now, you can get a lot of camera angles here. I personally find it most comfortable to do it on this camera angle, because this is the most common one. And you can uh, adjust your camera if you want to get the camera angle you prefer. But you're going to, like that, go upright as I showed from this camera angle. You're gonna crouch, you're gonna turn around, and then you're gonna uncrouch, you're gonna crouch, uh, crawl again, and you're gonna turn around and now you're free to move but obviously this is a horrible camera angle to see so I'm gonna zoom in I'm gonna zoom out and now I can see where I am so this is the position you want to get to from your crawl turnarounds and from here we're gonna walk out and double jump and try to ledge grab here because we're going to have to uh, wait a bit sometimes on our way over. 
And we want to try and continuously ledge grab a bit on the side here. How much you do it might depend on how much EQ e e eco you have. And uh, one thing to uh, try to avoid when doing this is uh, you want to avoid being too close to the ledge. At that point, you might end up uh, landing inside here, which clips you into a odd area in between uh, the outer bounds we actually want to use and uh, uh, the inbounds area that you don't want to end up in. You're going to jump upwards. You're going to ledge grab again. Try to stay far enough away from it as possible to be able to ledge grab well, as I'm doing here. Jump up, get in there. You want to get in at the end of construction site 2 here and trigger the cutscene as I did here. And that's how I skipped construction site 2. Uh, and not just construction site 2, but all the levels that are required to get there. We're still going to do some of them, but technically we've gotten all the progression up to that point now. So that's good. Uh, I am going to show... Um, um, if I can a bit. So let's say you get in here accidentally. I don't know what I do. You can move up here. You can actually, as you can tell, do the same strat again. You're going to end up very far out on um, the edge there, as we saw. Like, I was falling down after the second one. So you want to be very uh, fast if you're doing that back up. But that is faster than saving and loading. And you can walk out from construction site too. So now that you've done construction site 2 skip, I redid it. You're gonna drop down, you're gonna take the scooter with you. And uh, you're gonna go here. And uh, Mira, I'm gonna set a safe state here. And uh, you're gonna do barrier skip here. So you're gonna release the scooter fast enough that it should be able to move past the wall and look away from it. So. Uh, if you're good enough, you can actually walk towards the scooter while looking away from it. Uh, but it's hard to walk towards it and also look at an angle that uh, uh, the skip still works. So basically, the way the skip works is if you don't look at something, it doesn't exist. So, so um, the collision between uh, the scooter and the wall here, it doesn't exist because we didn't look at it. So now the scooter's on the other side. And uh, we can just jump in. Depending on how close you get the scooter to the wall, you may not be able to jump onto it, or you may have to jump or even double jump. However, you need to get onto it. Try to do it. If you um, can't do it, I'm gonna save a save state here. Uh, you can save, load, and you're gonna end up uh, with uh, CS2 skip done. You get that checkpoint. So don't worry about saving. After CS2 skip, it's completely fine. Whatever you do, you're gonna end up back there anyway. You're not losing any progress. And uh, you can attempt the skip again. I like to wait three seconds there before I move. Uh, when it proxies out like that, it means that it was in the wall and then proxied out. So this is one of the advantages of uh, being good enough at the camera manipulation that you move towards it while camera manipulating, where you can actually move up there and uh, have it still be stuck in the walls since the collision doesn't start yet. Jump onto the scooter and uh, then have, uh, drive the scooter as it uh, proxies out of uh, the barrier which is pretty cool, but it's hard. So if you can practice that, that is useful. But I'm still not good at it. From this point, we're gonna go in here. We're gonna get our eco refreshed. So it's no big deal. We're gonna jump in here. 
And here it's going to default to strip mine too, which is exactly the level we want to do. So you're just going to press X when you get here. And this is uh, another major cutscene. If we don't stop this metal bug infestation, there won't be any people left. So this is uh, a cutscene where normally you get the blaster. However, because we have not gotten the flamethrower yet, we got the flamethrower instead. So um, now we have the ability to hover, we have the bug spray, and we have the flamethrower. But normally here you're supposed to have the blaster. So the um, the cringe way of doing this would be not learning strip mine to skip. Going all the way over to City Port, as I'm going to show later how we do. And then grabbing the uh, last uh, cutscene to get the blaster. Driving all the way back. Doing Strip Mine 2 without the skip. <laughs> with the blaster. It loses so much time. <laughs> I would consider this a required skip in this category, if I'm being honest. So you're going to jump over here. And uh, we're gonna do like the box skip again. Yes, I know the box skip. Not great, but it's all we've got here. So you're gonna try to let grab as close as you can to the wall. Can't be easy to get proxied out like that. It's fine. Just keep reattempting it. it. Saves so much time, so it's fine if it takes you a bit to get it. And once you've gotten into the wall like this, you want to turn the camera around. Go into first person, turn the camera a bit more so you can see a bit better. And we're going to do the crawl method again later. So we're going to double jump like that. And we're inside this pillar now, uh, alongside the conveyor belt. And uh, from here, you're going to be using your bug spray. You're going to draw back and then uh, hover over uh, to get on the dirt bit below where I'm looking right now. So we're gonna drop down, we're gonna hover and uh, as you can see here is the dirt. So we were inside this pillar, we dropped down, got onto this dirt here that's uh, next to the conveyor belt. And from here, you can see Dexter's shadow, which is nice for movement here. And you want to move up towards this bronze pillar here. And you want to have uh, Dexter pointing towards it. So one way of doing it is uh, going into first person as I'm showing. Uh, that's the method of doing it. Or you can just turn Dexter towards there. Either way, uh, try to not get proxied up like I got there as well. And um, at this point, you want to crawl. You want to make sure you don't go uh, too centered on this pillar, by the way. You want to go a bit to the right. We want to crawl. You're going to move forward a bit because uh, however you went into crawling, you're not going to be all the way in. So you're going to crawl forward a bit and then you're going to turn. You're going to uncrouch, uncrawl. And then you're going to do it again. You're going to crawl, you're going to turn. And you're gonna get out of your crawl like this. You're gonna keep going. It's gonna be a total of five times. And at that point, this is the fourth time. And then one more time. We're gonna do it one more time. And like that, the camera flops in. The camera can mess up quite a bit. This is like the perfect camera angle. You might get a much worse one. But you can use your first person mode to try and get into a good camera position. Uh, at this point, I like to use plane thrower. You don't need to, but you want to walk alongside uh, the wall here. I want to walk around this bump from the conveyor belt, but not too far out that you clip back and bounce. And then there's going to be a corner here that you're going to jump around and hover. And the plane thrower lets you just jump straight in. But if you don't want a flamethrower, that's completely fine. We're just gonna bug spray here. And then it might still be useful to flamethrower like that up in here. And you're gonna get a checkpoint here. So um, 
you don't even need to save right away. And then um, here we have the, uh, in my opinion, hardest part of the skip is uh, we're gonna try to ledge grab these elevators and uh, hover around because uh, if we do go up here without doing the skip you'll notice there's these rubble walls that uh, you would need the blaster to take down and uh, we don't have the blaster so we need to go back down the eco i took didn't matter i had enough uh, to hover around anyways if you want to grab it you can so you're gonna jump onto the elevator you're gonna ledge grab it as it's moving up and you can do that you can jump off and hover and if you do it early like i did you'll get the momentum of the elevator so you can hover higher which is uh, faster but if you want to you can just jump onto here crawl here and you can wait until the very end jump off and then hover up. Uh, I wouldn't wait all the way until the end because then you don't get the momentum of the elevator, but waiting until very late can be useful since it allows you a lot of leeway in how you hover up. And then as you see, there's these rubble walls that we're gonna try to avoid uh, getting it to, but if we accidentally do, uh, just jump in here. Oh no, we're in between the rubble walls. What do I do? I'm in the middle of a run. This is in practice. You're gonna save. You're gonna load that save. And now you're, you've are you hit the checkpoint here, so you're just gonna be able to do it again. You're gonna have to do the uh, elevator skips again. You're not gonna have to do the uh, rest of the skip again, which is really nice. But yeah. If you keep your camera close to the edge here, you can see where you're going as you're out of bounds, which is pretty sweet. And we're gonna jump onto the second elevator, do the same thing, jump off, hover up, and land on the dirt piles. Rare. Go over here, take the eco, and um, now it's time to do the Hive Queen. This is pretty hard boss to do the fastest method, but uh, you can still get it pretty fast otherwise. So we're going to smack this uh, boss a bit, have it spit out some enemies, testing us if we disturb to fight it. So we're gonna smack it a second time. Defeat some enemies, smack it again. And then smack it one last time. This time. Oh my god, there's a boss here. No way. It's time to battle the Hive Queen. So you're gonna want to be on your bug spray. You're gonna bug spray the Hive Queen. You're gonna double jump, spin attack, and then try to get the quick spin attacks like this in the locations I'm doing it. So if you see, I've gotten 6 damage, which is the correct amount. It, um, you can also get 5. It's a pretty hard cycle to get 6. If you do get 6 on each cycle, you can 3 cycle this boss. But if you get 5, that's a very easy way of getting the 4 cycle. So I wouldn't worry too much about it. But if you want to practice to get the 3 cycle, you want to make sure you get 6 hits per cycle on uh you, you want to be able to do it on both attacks because you're gonna have to do both attacks at least once try to avoid uh, taking damage from when it lands on you by the way i didn't do it there but try to if you can you can grab the eco if you want and here you're gonna want to be fast because uh, otherwise uh, it will create problems on this attack you're gonna jump jump uh, hover and as you saw i hovered and then moved backwards in order to get the flamethrower forward to hit the head if you're not fast enough there she's gonna hide her head and uh, it's gonna send out some um killer bees and stuff it's not great this uh, boss is definitely harder without the uh plaster so keep that in mind and then for uh, this part 
to get the early hit in order to get the six um, hits in the cycle. Uh, I like to jump like right as uh, the Hive Queen's head is close to Daxter when uh, the Hive Queen uh, flies in. So there, as you saw, I got the hit and you want to bounce down like this, get the hits in like that. And now I got six hits. So it's hard to sit down and explain every single bit, but like, there's specific places where you hit her and uh, you bounce back down very quickly, as you've been seeing me doing. Um, I try to explain the first hit on the cycle as best as I can, but a lot of it, I'm just going to rely on that uh, I've got a input viewer, and you can look at that if you want. And on this final cycle, it's going to pick between these two attacks for which one it's going to do. But it's also going to spawn some enemies, so... Uh, be mindful of them as you're doing uh, whatever strat that is for whatever attack. So here it's gonna do the second attack again. And here I'm gonna spray. Because otherwise I always get hit by the ticks there. And there we go, I got the three cycle. So yeah, be mindful of those enemies. Like, you be ready to spray a bit in order to get rid of them, to avoid uh, dying to them. Or just in general, having them uh, make it impossible for you to get the free cycle, that would be annoying. Uh, but once we're done here, we're just gonna exit the level. We're done now with Strip Mine 2. So here we get the level. And uh, we're gonna jump back into the teleporter now that we've gone uh, out of that level. We're gonna press one up because we're going to the lumber mill. So this level has a lot of cycles uh, that you want to try to hit if you can uh, for the harder strats. Uh, the it takes a long time for these. Uh, enemies to go through their cycles so i'm just gonna show these cycles and then uh, if you struggle with them you can try to do something easier for yourself but here we're gonna it's required that you look at an angle here as you see i barely made it over while looking at an angle so for this jump you want to be comfortable with that if you're not you're probably gonna miss the cycle which isn't great but just be mindful of that. And we're gonna jump onto this uh, button to hit the electricity. And when the uh, enemy is about there, I'm gonna start jumping forward. I'm gonna look at an angle to move faster. And here, you wanna make sure to look at the enemy enough to get the counter up on the raid. If you don't look uh, at the enemy, it, it doesn't die. It's uh, as I told with the barrier skip, if you don't look at it, it doesn't exist in this game because of it being for the PSP with the low uh, processing power and stuff. So you want to make sure you do that in order to confirm the kill. And you're going to get past here. You're going to cover over here. And you're going to try to want to be fast here. If you are, this one shouldn't attack you. You're going to grab this uh, eco. And uh, if you passed with this cycle heading there, you should be able to hit that enemy. Get over here. Be careful of this shark. And you're gonna be able to hover straight over here. Be careful of this shark as well. And then here uh, we have another cycle that's kind of tight. So I'm going to show, or I'm going to try to show two methods of doing this. I recommend the first one, but so we're going to be looking at an angle to move faster. So we're going to kill that one and we're going to land and there we're going to kill it. As you saw, that was pretty late. This is definitely the harder method of doing it uh, to get the cycle, but I recommend it. Because if you do the other method, 
So we're gonna avoid this one. You can still kill it there and get the cycle. So that method uh, gets you onto the button a little faster, making it easier to hit the cycle. But this uh, scorpion can be really annoying. So I recommend not doing that. And then once you've gotten 3 out of 7, you're just gonna die here. And uh, generally, the quickest method is just walking off. And I'd pay attention to how much eco you have here. I have enough where I don't have to grab the eco. But if you don't have enough, you want to grab this uh, eco orb in front of you before you move on. We're gonna hover over here. Go down here and grab some eco on the way. I'm not gonna make that cycle, so I'm just gonna grab that eco. And the new cycle should be when it goes under the branches there. And this is pretty simple, you just wanna avoid the branches. Or that happens. <laughs> it's the first time I've been too impatient with that branch. That's kind of funny. But there, I showed you why you shouldn't be impatient with the branches, so I guess that's good. <laughs> so yeah, don't be like me. Wait it out. And here, this is another easy cycle that you're going to be able to make. You're just going to want to do some camera manipulation. You can jump off, you're going to look to the side here, because this scorpion isn't going to go at you, but the one to the right will. So you want to look away from it, because uh, if you don't look at it, it doesn't exist. So when the enemy is about there, you want to start moving away. I want to look at the enemy, so you get the counter up to four. And then you want to kill yourself again and hold forward here so you get a bit of a boost when you uh, respawn. And you're gonna jump out of this area. And you can make this jump. You can also make this jump with the camera manipulation. I'm gonna jump over here, and here, uh, you're gonna grab this checkpoint by jumping up there, and then moving away. And then this section is my worst section, so I would recommend watching Nogadoki doing this instead of me, because I'm probably gonna mess it up really badly. If I do, I'm just gonna start killing enemies when you maybe don't want to. So you're gonna try to... Move over here with the camera behind like this. Uh, I missed it up horribly. So I'm gonna kill some enemies. I'm gonna look up like this to avoid them attacking me. The valid method of doing this, and you just wanna get both of these enemies. There's two of them that are going around the cycle. There we go, six out of seven. And now you want to die as soon as possible, which is why you don't want to kill the enemies generally. You want to try to avoid damage without killing them, which I'm really bad at. Uh, but if you do, you'll have 6 out of 7, and you'll be able to move along here. That's why you took the checkpoint. And we're going to hover over here on the side. And we're gonna try to look up like this so the enemies don't attack us. Get 7 out of 7. Move your way along. Try to time the cycle. Here, I need some eco, so I'm gonna grab it. Uh, just pay attention to how much eco you have. And uh, we're gonna return. So at this point, you can just uh, take the slide as you would uh, normally over there. Or you can do the fast method of ending the level. 
because fundamentally all the slide does it takes you back to the start so why not just do this jump you did at the start again but from the other side makes so much sense we're just gonna jump here we're gonna be looking at an angle this one is the easier version and say uh, you do it from the edge just like that and we're gonna hover up and we're done with the level which is pretty sweet and uh, now we're past the really hard levels uh, in the early game. We're gonna have uh, a little bit easier time uh, from now on until the end game when it gets harder again. So this is where you can relax. <laughs> uh, or well, um, you need one more skip actually before it becomes easy. I forgot about this. So, uh, there's two ways of doing this. There's a uh, Nokia's method, where if you um, try to drive up on a specific point on the slide here, but you just want to tap. And if you do it correctly, you'll proxy up to go over the barrier. It's kind of hard. I don't do it in runs personally, but there's other people who can show it off for you if uh, you're interested in it. What I do personally is uh, I just drive off here and I do the uh, same scooter skip as we did before. It's a little bit slower. I did it a bit early there. That should be good enough. I used this ledge here as my uh, uh, visual cue. And then I tried to throw it to the side like this. Because it can I get stuck here. Or it gets here. So you, there's more ways of having it work. I feel like this one is a lot more consistent than the other one. Because there's a better method for it. And you can drive across here. And now we're going to get to the city port. So we're going to do a uh, proxy here that's a lot easier than the previous proxy. We're going to, instead of tapping, uh, you're going to hold uh, square and X to move a little bit slower than usual. And you're going to do this driving into the corner. And uh, normally you don't just get a proxy like that. Normally you drive... I'm trying to demonstrate here, that was a very good one, a way too good one. <laughs> you drive into a corner, and then you um, turn to the side. Like that. And that's the most consistent way of the get getting, getting the proxy. So there's uh, a couple of ways you can uh, get out of bounds here to make it work. I'm gonna try to show them off. It's a bit RNG which kind of a proxy you get here, unfortunately. So you can just fall down here, like that, get a proxy where you can land inside here. Unfortunately, there's an invisible wall here that doesn't allow us to move past here. So in that case, we're gonna have to move around the invisible wall, go over here, and then um, start moving up because there's another invisible wall around here-ish. Uh, where is it? Here, is, here it is. And it goes all the way up there. So you go along there. You jump and bounce, and then you keep going. Uh, that's the slowest method. Ideally, you want to land on the scaffolding, so you want to like keep a track of where it is. 
and hovering can make it easier to make it up there because not all proxies are good for doing that where you just get up there and drop off to land here. You can also switch the flamethrower before going on these scooters in order to get a little bit more height when hovering. And, um... Yeah, if you get up on the scaffolding, you can just jump off the scaffolding and hover a bit to get over the invisible wall. And that saves you having to walk around like you showed off earlier. And those are the methods of getting over. You can get over from the scaffolding without uh, hovering, but it's not worth learning in this category. So you're gonna jump and bounce. You're going to jump along here. Taking the conveyor belts over. And uh, at this point, uh, this is when we're going to go and get the um, blaster. So you're going to jump into the scooter. You're going to go here. You can, um, Because we've done all the levels, we're going to do some levels here. You want to grab this checkpoint here by driving over really quickly. Since you saw it, it extends a bit out and you don't really need to go in that far so that's great and then coming up here is the cutscene that would normally give you flamethrower but will now give you the blaster which is going to be useful for the upcoming levels um so you're just going to grab the cutscene skip it and you're going to jump off to respawn back at the distillery so, if you didn't grab the checkpoint, you would uh, spawn back over there by the door where the scooter is, which loses a bit of time. But if you... But if you grab this checkpoint, you can get to the distillery quickly. So, um, the boring method here... is just do it legit. Just take the slow, slow elevator. All the way down. I don't even remember where the door is. Am I looking the right way? Here it is. He walked through. And here we go. Collect 40 gems. You're starting the level. That's the boring way. The fun way is right as you go over the hump here. You save the game. You're gonna load it. And then here, I'm holding up right and I'm gonna hover. And then you're gonna... Uh, I do it like that because uh, you can easily land in here. Um, in that way. You can actually, if you do it... I don't know why I loaded the save state, but whatever. You can delay your hover a lot if you want to. However you want to do it, you just get over here, and if you need to re-attempt it because you failed it, you just load it again. And it keeps working. And in here, you're gonna hit this uh, trigger here for 40 gems. You can even land inside here to make it a little bit faster. Uh, however you got here, you're gonna move forward. You're gonna wait for all these ones to spawn. You're gonna hit them all. You can hit the... Uh, switch, and you're gonna grab all the gems. This one is a little bit more free in your route of uh, which ones you want to get. But here, it's hard to get all of them in uh, one of the blasts, so I just use the flame prayer instead. Go over here. Do that. It's hard to get them with flame prayer, so I just do the blasts. You can do the crawl skip, as I showed there. And here is going to be the first actually useful uh, implementation of the uh, uh, of the extended jump. You don't need it. In fact, Noki doesn't do it in order record. 
but it's my preferred method of going over. So you do the extended jump, you hover over, and you make it over. You can just, uh, I find it harder, but you can't just do the camera nip and uh, hover over. I'm gonna see if I can get an example of it. There we go. You can do it ledge grabless. Noki prefers this. I don't. I prefer the extended jump. So you jump on the edge and uh, I spam in order to get the, the jump. Like that. You make it over. You hit the switch and you keep going. And here you can jump off a bit early, hover over. You wanna get these uh, ones because if you're fast enough you can make it while still making the cycle. Uh, like that. We didn't miss a single cycle there. Maybe you can go ahead of a cycle normally, but that's pretty quick to get a lot of jumps. And then uh, here. We're gonna grab this one in this room. Like that. And you should have 30 here normally. If you don't, you can take uh, some extra gems later on. If you missed some. And uh, you're gonna hover up here. I can double jump fairly quickly and uh, then hover over. You're gonna hit the switch, kill the scorpions since they're usually coming straight at you. They're pretty easy gems. And then you can blast that one so you don't have to wait for the jump. It's the fastest extra gem you're gonna be able to get, because you're gonna have to get some extra gem somewhere. And you can blast these two as such. And then here, what you can actually do is you can jump before the rubble, and get a jump on the rubble, and you can make it over there without using the... Uh, uh, the ball climbing here on the right, which is pretty fast. So here, if you got the extra gem already, you should have 36. If not, you'll have 35. And this one's being annoying, so I'm just gonna kill it. And uh, th that one is a pretty good one to grab this extra if you want. I'm just gonna kill these quickly. Kill these ones. And here's a uh, nice little uh, uh, extended jump that doesn't save much time, so don't set it up or anything. Just like go for it if you want to, and if not, just move on. Just go for the extended jump, and you can make it all the way over like that. The only thing that the little extended jump saves is the time that it will take you to jump up like that. <laughs> it's so little time, but it's enough time where it's worth going for if you get the eco for it. And I tend to go for it. So you're gonna go onto this elevator, and the door's gonna be this way, so that's good to remember. Otherwise it can be easy to get lost. So here we've got the big door. We're gonna go onto the scooter again. We're gonna turn around. 
and drive over to the fish cannery. And uh, I forgot to mention uh, the distillery and the fish cannery. We've actually skipped these level in the mission progression uh, when we did Swiss 2 skip. But we're still doing these levels. And the reason for this is because we want to unlock Emerald Isle. Because uh, in the mission progression, you do CS2, then you do uh, Strip Mine 2 and uh, Lumber Mill, like we did in the teleporter. And then you go over and you do the second Emerald Isle level. But we don't have Emerald Isle unlocked right now because we never did the first one. So we're doing a Distillery and Fish Cannery to unlock the Emerald Isle. And then you can go over there and it will do the Emerald Isle 2 because of the... Uh, a mission progression we're on. We're on uh, a point where we should be doing the second one, so we'll just get you to the second one. We will skip the first one. So we're going to do this. We're going to go in here. Another gem level. Another uh, gem routing thing. This one, we're not even going to see like half the level. It's such a long level that it's actually worth just walking back the way you came. After we get enough gems. So you're going to go to the right here. You're going to double jump quickly and hover and you should be able to get up here. And you're going to spray. You're going to spray again and then jump on top of it. So you can go past here. Try to avoid the ice here. I like to use the bug spray when uh, doing that last one there. I'm not paying full attention right now since I'm speaking and since I'm trying to do a tutorial. But I prefer the bug spray because uh, the flamethrower gets you very high up. You can grab some eco there. You can uh, blast these ones. Grab the skull gems. I prefer bug spray here again. You're gonna bug spray here. And that enemy you're seeing on outside there, uh, we're not gonna see it. <laughs> and here you're gonna do the blast. So yeah, that, that little peek at the enemy you got there, that's the only bit you're gonna see of it. But we're gonna move that one twice again, jump over, and we're gonna skip these two for now. We're gonna do them later. We're gonna kill the hive, get the gold gems. And uh, be careful of the sharks here. Watch your cycles. And uh, we can smack that. And then from here, you can, if you're good enough, you can do a slide around there. I'm gonna see if I can get it where you get Daxter's head out of the way. You can uh, land in there and get a vent clip. It's a pretty hard vent clip. But it doesn't actually save too much time because it's a very short vent. There we go, I got it. So that's how you do it. So you're gonna kill all the enemies here. As such, you're gonna grab the skull jumps. You should have 18 once you're done here. There we go. And I'm gonna smack here. You have enough time to grab the eco before you need to use it. So that's a free refill. And we're just gonna uh, play for this four times. I'm timing it for when I need to do it the next time. You get a sense of it as you get used to doing this. So I'm just gonna destroy that nest. I keep moving. Keep it moving. Try to keep up with my cycles. Because once we get over here, 
We're gonna blast these enemies. And we're gonna turn around. We're not doing the rest of the level. It's time to... Uh, clean up all these uh, ball jumps we've been preparing. Oh, I missed one. And here you should have 33 when you leave here. And I like to blast these ones. And if you have a low eco because you didn't get much eco from enemies, grab that eco. And try to be a bit conservative with your eco, like I'm being here. You can also grab some extra eco on the way. That I skipped over. Get back here. And uh, now we're gonna kill the enemies that we left here with a blast. So we don't have to wait around for the gems. Move over here. And if you didn't die, you can just jump over this ice block. If not, it's gonna be here and it's gonna be full, so you're gonna have to wait around and uh, melt it, which is a bit slow. So you wanna... Uh, the time loss does uh, snowball a little bit if you uh, died. It's not just the time from dying, but also melting the ice blocks that you lose. So yeah, be careful of these ice blocks. But nothing crazy happens. <laughs> Something crazy did happen for me, but luckily <laughs> I didn't uh, die or anything. Yeah, be careful of them as you're going back. You can hover like that. It's a bit slower than uh, landing on here, which is what I was trying to do. And getting up would both work. And then you just move back. Looks like it's gonna be fast and furious, oh Sultan of Fuzz. Let's cruise! And that the cutscene right there is that we've unlocked Emerald Isle right now. Because we've done both levels. Or that dialogue box is not really a cutscene. So at this point here, we're gonna go over to the scooter. We're gonna drive it over to the Emerald Isle uh, teleporter. We can jump off here. We're gonna go into the teleporter. There's gonna be a cutscene here, so you're gonna skip it. And then you're gonna jump into the uh, vehicle. And then here, you're gonna try to... Uh, Shoot as much as you can on this enemy uh, while keeping track of uh, not overheating your gun, as you can see in the bottom left. And uh, trying to take out those uh, things that shoots at you because you want to keep some HP. Uh, I'll explain as it goes along why. Or actually, I can just explain now. Basically, these uh, flying things that attack you will still keep going even if you've killed uh, uh, the boss. So if there's any of them that it's sent out and you have low HP, you can actually finish the level and still die in the ending cutscene and have to redo the mission. So yeah, try to keep as much HP as possible. while taking it out. I often take it out there, but if not, it might take a bit longer. There. That's pretty fast to kill it. And uh, you're gonna end up somewhere based on uh, how you finished. So here, I finished fairly close to the exit, not all the way. But at this point, it's faster to drive over here and do the exit. 
if you finish somewhere closer to over here where these waterfalls are uh, you might want to consider driving off the waterfall here driving up here you land here but instead i'm going to drive through the cave and uh, jump off here instead whichever seems best from where you land do that method there's not much time difference in them so what whichever you close it to i would do and uh, at this point that's the last level before the tanker which is normally the level we skip to in any percent so at this point it's just any percent end game we've done all the extra stuff in no tms we've got we've got the blaster but it's not useful in the end game really except for if you don't do the Caden boss skip i guess you can avoid learning it in this category it's like the one thing I find it easier to make it across here with flamethrower, personally. But you can make it across with bug spray if you want. When you go here, you're gonna go onto this platform, and the level is gonna be that side. Here. So now it's endgame time, let's go. I already have an innocent tutorial, but I'm gonna show this anyways. So it's all in one uh, video. You don't have to look around for them. You want to land on this one. I'm landing on very specific uh, planks, so land on the same ones that I'm doing. Those are the important ones. This one, it's not. This one is the specific one here. I landed all three when you really don't need to. It's a very specific plank there that are the key planks that uh, spawn the next ones. They want to make sure you land on. And then here you can do the easiest uh, crawl skip in the game. It's a massive crawl area. And then you're gonna wanna walk along. It saves a fair bit of time with it being a fairly long crawl area. Not a massive one though. And here we have a big skip. It, you might wanna consider learning because it saves a lot of time. Uh, so you jump over here, you hover. Uh, and then as you slide down you hover up here and you're gonna end up at the top of the pipe And you're gonna jump off like that So that was pretty sick. I got a first try So basically you just get over to the pipe So you can hover up there and try to land in the center of the top of the pipe And uh, from there you uh, You jump, you make sure you get a double jump and then hover a little bit so you can get over out of bounds here. Then if you want to, you can realign your camera a bit. You find it easier. Like this, so you can see what you're doing. I move it forward a bit and then realign the camera so you can see. And you're gonna jump around this wall that I'm standing next to. So I'm going to jump and hover and move not too far in on the platform there. I'm just going to fall off and I'm going to follow this angle right here. I follow a corner of a black corner in the distance to get the angle to try and land here. And if you do it really well, you can like land on the edge and fall straight onto the uh, trampoline, which is pretty sick. Sorry, it's long enough. I'm just going to skip it. If you want to learn all missions, you can learn the backup, but it's a really hard backup, so you may as well just die and redo it, <laughs> to be honest. And then here we have a neat little skip you can do, that you might want to learn. So, basically you jump here, you jump up on the pipe, and you hover up, and you can get around. And so the way I do it, is like, if you pay attention here when I land on this uh, plank, it goes down and goes up again. So I wait a bit till it goes up and then I jump. And it gets me the height. There's not a lot of uh, leeway in this height, so make sure you wait it out. You get the eco, you wait until it bounces up. And then you go into the hatch and you're done. 
if you can't do that skip, the regular thing to do in this level isn't that slow. Maybe like 20 seconds, whatever. And th at this point, this level is literally just move along fast. There's not a lot of strats, as you might notice me doing. We're gonna go onto the elevator. It's gonna be one lamp, two lamps, three lamps, four lamps, five lamps. Did I skip three? No, I didn't. Okay. You do that, you jump and you spin, and you open the door slightly earlier. It's like a second, it's no big deal. And at this point, it's just movement. Beat up Daxter with your symbol jumps and the holding good camera angles. Try to avoid that scorpion. You don't need to do any of these fights. Just skip all of them. Keep chugging along, and here we're gonna have an actual strat. There's a harder strat I'm not gonna show, that you might see in IELTS and stuff, but... Uh, you jump up here, you hover up to the bookshelf, and then you're gonna jump jump and hover once you're past there, and get over to the other side. Uh, so, you can actually start to hover when you're right below it, and you can actually also... I tried to ledge grab there, you can ledge grab it, but I still got over. <laughs> it's it's a pretty easy skip, and there's uh, a lot of leeway in it, so you should be fine. But here, you pay attention to that cycle. I tried to grab the eco, because I kind of want it. Uh, so instead, I'm just gonna delay my hover because you want to hover along here to skip these enemies. And then I drop down early there. That was intentional to drop down when I did because, as you saw, the enemy started attacking the opposite direction of me. I don't know why it works like that, but if you drop off early like that, it will get the complete wrong direction when it attacks. So do that to get the enemy out of the way, so you can do uh, the jump over without any enemies obstructing your way. It's very much recommended. Uh, don't double jump. Always single jump. Single jumps are fast, double jumps are not. I accidentally, done, I accidentally jumble jumped. Not something you should follow. And here we have a bit of a skip as well. You can just move along these platforms if you want. But it's not too hard to do the skips. You jump, jump. That's the easy way of doing it, doing the spin attack and going over. You can actually... We get a good enough one. You can hover over without spin attack, but if you do uh, fail it, you don't make it over, you make it over here. Keep holding circle, don't release it, so you can save it like that. Otherwise you'll drop off and have to redo the skip, you don't want to do that. So I wouldn't stop holding circle until you landed here, really. Just, if you don't hover at the earliest moment when you fall off there, it won't work. So just hold circle there. And again, you can move along the platforms if you want, but another not too hard skip, so I recommend learning it. So you jump up on the side here, or walk up, whichever you prefer. Walk over there like that. A single jump up instead of walking up like I did. It's the fastest, but it's easy to just walk up like that. 
you land on this platform. And from here, you're gonna jump over to this platform, but it's this is where the cutscene is. To open up this uh, area here. And you can skip the cutscene again. And you're gonna move along. And you're gonna have another cutscene that's here. It's gonna skip. And here's a neat little trick. You can land on top of this box. And then if you do didn't good enough double jumps there, so you get past the door frame, you can hover over to land here. If you can't do it, you can always go up here and hover up like that. So it doesn't save a bunch of time, but if you get good enough jumps here and immediately start hovering, you can go immediately up, which is pretty sweet. And here, a pretty easy crawl skip if you want to do it. And then here, we're going to skip two cutscenes and then move along here. So this guard, uh, he's super sensitive, so don't play any games with him. He's the most alert guard ever. Like here, if I move like there, he'll, he'll see you. If, um, if I wait a bit, let's, uh, let's be like, oh, I'm trying to make this cycle. That actually worked. <laughs> See, it's like there, I'm trying to game the system, please. He's gonna still get you. He's very good at his job. He's the best guard in the army. And don't jump here either. I just remember that's the thing here. Even if you go far enough out here, As you saw, he shot me, but if I walk in the exact same location... <laughs> it's hard to show. It's a little bit more sensitive when you jump. Not by a lot, but yeah. Or it feels like it's more sensitive anyways when you jump. Maybe it's not. Maybe I've just internalized that. But either way, you want to make it past him. And now you get in chase with him. Nothing special in the chase, really. And once you're done with the chase, you're gonna uh, go off the uh, sumer there. I can barely make that cycle, so I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna grab this eco for later. And because of this cycle, I'm gonna have to wait. And we're gonna try to make the cycle to show it off. I feel like this is the hardest cycle to make. Like that, I made it. That's a very hard cycle to make. So it's fine if you wait it out. The other kind of cycle you can make is if he's about to go behind the pillar, or he's behind the pillar, you can walk up, you can get this. And by the time you gone around, he won't be there. So if you don't see him when you get up here, you can go for it if you want. And he'll be coming around the left side there. He's just walking around that cycle constantly. And then here you can do another crawl skip into a there's a crawl hole there. You do a crawl skip, you do another crawl skip, and here's actually a third crawl skip, if you want to, on the left. It's the hardest uh, crawl skip in the game. 
where you have to do like repeated jumps to like barely get through. I still haven't been able to do it. This is the part of the vent that you do the hard crawl skip. This little opening there. So basically, the way this area looks, it's good to know what areas look like if you don't to know the crawl skips. You crawl here, it looks like this. That's a good thing to do for every crawl skip you learn, to just learn what the vent looks like. You gonna get over this one? And uh, here we've got a really cool skip that I'm gonna try to get in its full to explain. So um, earlier in Strip Mine 2, I explained uh, keeping the uh, elevator's momentum by jumping off of it and then hovering. And we're gonna do the same here. So we're gonna be able to rise with our hover. And we're gonna ledge grab to maintain that momentum. We're gonna... I landed here, so I lost the momentum. You don't want to land on the ground, you want to ledge grab. Ledge grabbing maintains it. Gonna ledge grab again. Gonna hover up. And land here, and then you're gonna wait until you can hover again. You're gonna jump, you're gonna hover a bit to get on um, the other side of the eco. Because you can barely make it there. So basically what you do is you like get far enough that you hover, but the eco follows you. So you get the eco replenishment as you hover up. Because one full bit of eco for this hover isn't enough. So you delay the eco so it replenishes as you're hovering up. And then at this point you can jump off, you can hover over the enemies. And now you can stop hovering. That's the whole section done. It's a pretty cool uh, uh, hover strat, if you can get it. Let's say you fail it and you land somewhere, oh no. Uh, you can still get some cool hover strats. You can uh, go off of this one here. You can jump and hover here. Grab an eco. If you can, you can ledge grab here and do that same strat again. Where you do the eco replenishment. Or, you can land on this elevator and do the eco, uh, do the elevator hover that way. So there's a lot of uh, elevator hovering strats you can do in this area to speed it up. Which is pretty cool. Uh, once you're done with that though, you're just gonna move over here. You can actually do a crawl skip. That metalhead was in an annoying position. Is there any way I can get this metal head away so I can show the crawl skip? This is an intricate crawl skip, so I want to show it off. You know what? I'm just gonna kill them all. You have the option of doing that, be an exterminator. So from here, you can do the crawl skip like that, as usual. And uh, hopefully you get the camera with you. I didn't, so I'm just gonna eventually gonna start crawling. Got pretty far. But if you can get the camera with you, which I didn't there either. I tend to get the camera with me, but I don't actually know the technicalities with how to get it with you. So yeah, unfortunately if you don't get the camera with you, there's no way of doing the full bit. So you can have to crawl down and do the last bit crawling. It sucks, but that's just how it is. And this is what the, uh, the crawl area looks like if you crawl. So again, as mentioned, it's good to learn that if you're learning crawl skips. And this cycle you're always gonna have to wait out. So if you do the crawl skip fully with the camera with you, you're gonna have to 
to go down here crawling at the end and wait for the cycle. We can get to this, this cycle to start earlier by doing the crawl skip. When you go here, you're gonna wait out his cycle as he's turning so you don't get hit. And then here, I might be able to make an early cycle here. No, I'm definitely not going to. I'm gonna see if I can show off an early cycle. You can look out for it. So if he's coming like there. I see I'm a bit behind. Oh no, I need to jump to catch up. But there, I was able to catch up. So look out for that, like where the first guard is on the left, if you can skip here. If not, you're just gonna have to wait. And then walk behind them. So you'd like a good cycle here. These, cycle are, these cycles are global cycles. So how you do in other levels affects it. And I'm just gonna... I actually forgot to save state. I'm gonna see if I can walk back. I've never tried to do it. <laughs> because uh, I wanted to show off what the crawl space looks like as previously. So yeah, if you don't crawl skip like I did, it goes left here, then it goes up. You can just hold straight up actually when you're crawl skipping, but that's how it looks like without um, doing that. And this is what it's gonna look like crawl skipping. And there we go. Now we're past it. You can go down here, hover up. This section isn't anything special. Just wanna single jump a bit, hover over your enemies, don't care about them. Wait out this guard cycle, just don't go too close to him. And then we can do another crawl skip here. If you land in the right way. I'm gonna show the crawl first. So you walk forward. You walk to the right. You walk forward again and you should get a cutscene. And then you can continue walking forward. That's what the crawl space looks like. And this is what the crawl skip looks like. Like that. And then from here, we're gonna hover over because it can do that lightning attack there and hit you if you don't. And we're gonna hover over all of these ones. This eco is nice to grab. The safe strat is to hover over. Go over here. Pay attention to this cycle. I don't know if you can do this early. I haven't done it in a while. You can. You can do that one pretty early. If you don't think you can make it, then you can just keep hovering. You can uh, ledge grab if he's here as well. Whatever you can to make sure he doesn't see you. You want to jump over to this one. Hover over, and you can hover all the way without having to climb up. You move over. And once you're here, you're in this room. You can do this. If you're doing these strats, I imagine you probably don't want to do any crazy strats in this room. So, you just want to... I was trying to see if you could be silly with the eco, like you can in the next room, but you can't. So you just do those uh, same things and you go over. Those are the normal strats. However, the sick out of bounds here 
uh, it's gonna be another one of these clips that you've done, the box skip and the strip mind you, where you ledge grab close to the wall. But this is the easiest one in the game, so that's really nice about this one since it's pretty late. You get that, you get out of bounds. And from here, you can uh, bring the camera out if you want, but I don't really think there's a good camera angle here. Maybe here, like that, it helps. So you're gonna go out on the edge, you're gonna hover over. You're gonna land on the edge, but not so that you um, clip and bounce. That's what it looks like. I'm not used to looking like that. I usually just go for it with this camera angle. So there I jumped a bit early. He wanted to lay until like the edge of the platform here. You can actually see the edge since uh, the edge extends from the inbounds area to out of bounds. So that's why it's easy for me without uh, fixing the camera angle. And then you're gonna hover over here a little bit ahead of this area. And now we're in that room that we were at the end before, but we're off to one of the side platforms. So what you're gonna do here is you're gonna do an extended jump. And if you uh, hold your camera angle well, as I did, you can do that ledge grabless. If not, you'll do it with a ledge grab. And you'll be making it over here to the middle. And at this point, if you find the last strat hard, you can just uh, do the flame emitter, as I showed before. We just jump and do it. But this last strat here is pretty cool. You do another a jump and you can do that ledge grab less as well if you do it well this is the harder extended jump of the two it's also bit tough on you if you haven't uh, gotten used to extended jumps yet to do two extended jumps back to back in this room but there are two extended jumps back to back and they both pray save a notable amount of time they both save like nine seconds each so it's it's good to know them um if you feel like you're confident enough in it you, otherwise you can just keep chugging along here However, you got over here. Jump over here, grab the eco. And uh, over here, there's two gamer strats for this first one, actually. So the first one that I think is pretty cool to go for, jump over the eco, do that, and get the eco refill and be able to hover right away. Normally, there's a bit of a delay before you can hover, but if you grab an eco, you can hover immediately. So that makes you do the flame emitter a bit faster. You need to hover, you need to jump over it like barely high enough that you don't attract the eco, but barely low enough that you can get your flamethrower onto um, the receptacle or whatever, so you can uh, get the spinner around. And the second gamer strat here that I'm about to go for is another extended jump. Yes, we all love extended jumps. <laughs> and that way you make it over to this platform here. The alternative method, if uh, you're not feeling this, you're struggling with uh, the eco thing I showed, you just wait a bit here. And you do it a third time. And you're gonna go out on the swinger. Double jump and hover to get over to the same platform. That's the easier strat. It only loses two seconds to do the uh, swinger instead of the extent jump. But the um, grabbing in the eco late in order to get it uh, faster is uh, something that's uh, not very punishing to go for, so I'd recommend at least going for it a little bit and see how we feel about it. 
Because uh, let's say you go for it here. I'm gonna show. Let's say you do it badly. You double jump up. Oh no, you hit the eco. Now you just have to wait. <laughs> That's the only problem. Which you were gonna have to wait anyways if you didn't go for it. That barely loses any time if you fail it, and the, up, the reward is that you can do it a lot faster. So, I feel like it's worth going for, even if you're not good at it yet. And then here you want to go out on the swinger again. And jump over like that and hover over to this platform. You can just use this last swinger as normal. Do the normal strats if you struggle with these swingers. So here I would pay attention to how much hover, how much spray I have. I have enough where I can just keep going. But if you don't, I would grab this eco. And uh, here we have um, this mini game takes like over a minute really slow and it's actually uh, kind of annoying to do well like it's kind of easy to die actually so do you want to jump up on this uh, chair and uh, the idea of the strat is the way that hovering works I haven't actually explained it yet but it's important for this strat it's based on where you jump from. That's the reason why elevator momentum is so huge, because it allows you to extend your flame, your spray higher. But normally you just hire, uh, hover at the same height. And the height that you hover on, it's based on uh, uh, the ground that you hovered from. So you're gonna try to hover up on the top of the ele uh, on the teleporter there land uh, in the middle at the top of it so you can set your grounded position there and then you're gonna hover again over the door that's the idea of the strat so we're gonna hover up we're gonna set our grounded position and i failed it there and if you do and you need more eco you can just save and load you should have more eco again as you had when you walked in the room but that's what it looks like. You set your grounded position, you start hovering again immediately to get over the door. At this point, you can just walk over, and now we're at the final boss, which is pretty sweet. Uh, this level, you don't have to do the final boss skip. You can do the final boss completely normally if you want to, but I'm going to be showing off the final boss skip once this sucks us over. So we have just pretty much an auto scroller at the start where you're doing, uh, you're just avoiding the attacks. You try to keep eco around for uh, second phase for the boss skip if you're gonna go for it. So I like to conserve as much eco as possible throughout. Uh, one thing to note about the the first phase is that if you're too early to flamethrower one of these uh, valves uh, to attack him, you will actually not be able to act attack him in that cycle. So make sure that you wait until he lands properly. So I'm just gonna do it here. I'm gonna wait for him to land like that until he starts sucking. I don't do it earlier because uh, at that point you're risking and not being able to attack him that cycle which is really bad since each cycle is very long. Doing all four hits is a total of four uh, of two minutes. A little more actually more like two minutes to two minutes 12 seconds to 22, depending on what kind of RNG you get, roughly. You just do this, you get the forfeit, you skip the cutscene. And uh, from here is where we're gonna do the final boss skip, if uh, you wanna go for it. If not, just do the normal casual stress, there's nothing special other than the final boss skip, so you can just ignore anything else I have to provide here. 
Through you're gonna wait out this cutscene. You're gonna jump over to this valve early. Once he's done his final attack, you're gonna bring it up. You're gonna land on it. And here you're gonna jump, jump, move forward and hover. Like that. And you're gonna you're gonna want to land on his back with uh, your uh, feet uh, uh, pointing upright is the optimal way of doing this and you should uh, land over here so you can just uh, go immediately in here and finish uh, the game and there you go you beat it but there's other ways this uh, final boss gift can work out so i'm gonna see if you can show them off to show some alternative ways you can uh, hover around at the end here. After the final attack, bring it up. Let's see, that's too good again. I'm too good at this. <laughs> it's actually a problem for showing it off. Like here, I got tossed to the side a bit, so then you can uh, try to hover straight to the right, and you might be able to make it there. So what happened, uh, as you saw when I was... Basically, the final boss is over there, and as you saw, he tossed me to very far to the right, but not very much forward. So I just started hovering straight to the right in hope that I would land on the platform, and I just barely did. So that's one way it can turn out where it ends up orange because you get tossed to the side but not forward so you don't see any white. Another method where you can end up, you can end up ha having um, a lot of this direction but not a lot of this direction so you can end up somewhere here and have to hover to land somewhere here. I'm gonna try to see if I can make that work to show it off. If not, you can watch some older runs, because a lot of the older runs would land on the door. If you want to see what you do when you get that kind of a hover. Let's see. Yeah, that's definitely not it. This is the same hover I got before. one it's not I'm gonna try it one more time and uh, if I don't get it just uh, watch some older runs of any percent Yeah, I, I didn't make it. I only make it like real far to the side now because of uh, the way I've gone to it. But there is a method where you land around the door. Uh, I'd recommend checking some older runs if you want to see what you do in that situation. And once you're here, you just walk up to him and now you've finished the game. And the run is done. So it did not have uh, his voice annoying me here, I'm just gonna skip it. But yeah, uh, that's the full run of Daxter uh, No Teleporter uh, Menu Storage. Uh, I hope it goes well for you to learn this category. And uh, uh, yeah, hope you enjoy the game. It's fun speedrun. Bye!